Hello everyone, my name is Ross the Alcheminiaturist, and this is a... This is not a turnip. This is a carrot. This is not a turnip either. It's a turnip 28 model. And this is another turnip 28 video. I made the mistake in the last video. The procession of woe is the cult, not the model. The model is the root shrine. And the root shrine has started to pull some cultists with its heartbeat like drums. The drums, the drums, the drums, the never ending drum beat. Open me, you human fool. Open the light and summon me and receive my majesty. Is what they would say if they were to be, say, locked in a pocket watch, for example. But they aren't, and it isn't about them there. This is about the chaff. These chaff are supposed to be, by design, gross. So I needed a way of making them gross. I need a gross base model. Have I said gross enough yet? Gross, 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 gross. Some of you may know, and most of you probably don't, that I'm currently knee-deep in an Age of Sigmar narrative campaign, made by my favorite employee at my favorite local game store. It came to my realization that, before playing in the campaign, I didn't really have any experience with the rules, nor did I have the rules to read. So I bought the warrior starting box for the rules, and in there I got some cruel boys, and some stormcast, and an idea. What better than a bunch of gaunt, aggressively poised dudes to act as my chaff than these boys? It was either that or start an Auroch army, and I already have three armies on the go in various states of completion for Age of Sigmar already. And now Vashtor is up for pre-order, and I need him. So no more new armies for 2023. Anyway, after the assembly of the boys, save the leader, as I felt that he would be better off as something else later. I took my bits box full of all of the Turnip 28 Kickstarter and free sculpts that I had printed off a while ago, and took out arms, heads, bodies, and backpack. My goal is to keep as much of the original gauntness and patchwork feel of the gut rip as, as possible, but also have them a much more unified and regimental feel, right up until I paint them. Taking my clippers, I clipped off all the shield arms at the shoulder that I could, as well as their heads. The orky aesthetic is not one I'm going for, so I don't need them for this project. A couple of the shields stayed, and I kind of just filed them down and added some sticks and some other stuff to make it look a little bit more haphazardly modgy podgy together. So, where to begin with the painting? Well, as you can see, I slightly haphazardly threw paint on these chaps. Partially, well, not partially, only knowing that there would be a lot of error correcting happen after the initial painting process. I decided that red, more specifically blood red by Vallejo, should be for the gunner chaff while Pro Acryl's Sky Blue would be for the Close Combat Chef. I chose Red, as these are supposed to be indicative of Napoleonic times, but way later on in time. What would be better than a nice Red Red for the Missile Chef? My Procession of Woe is, in my headcanon lore idea, traveling the now desolated English countryside looking for more followers to join in its holy pilgrimage. Now, I know that green itself is the complementary color to red, but Christmas has so much red and green that that's all I can think of as Christmas. There'd be no other indicators that around for that time. Come to think of it, I wonder if there is an, even is a Christmas time in the Turnip 28 universe. Is there a Root Santa? Is he good? Does he have a naughty and nice list? Maybe is he more vegetable and grime than mythical man? So many questions to think about. 
Maybe I should make a Root Santa. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I should make a Root Santa for Crit Up 28, and then Pester Max to make some scenario for it. Unless you're watching this, of course. In which case, make it. I'll make it. Anywho, back to painting. Huh, would you look at that? I painted their skin tones a nice muddy brown, like they've been in the mud and the grime their entire lives. I'm probably the first person in Turnip 28 history to do so. Probably not, but I can dream, right? One of my favorite parts of the painting of these blokes is that I decided to switch their hat colors for the two colors of the other ones. Again, I know that the complementary colors here are purple and green, but where's the fun in always being complimentary? If you want complimentary, how about 30 minutes of a complimentary commentary? Uh, then just search up KODT Compliment Rap Battle and click on the one with the two guys sharing a drink. Trust me, you'll love it. Or I'll refund your subscription here on YouTube, because you are subscribed, right? Once the hats and the like were done, it was time to get back to business and stop listening to the rap and add some streaking grime. I used to think that streaking grime was actually streak and grime, but it's not, and I'm ridiculous. What a revelation I had when I picked it up to use. I like to super grime up my turnip models, as you probably saw with the heart. I wanted to convey that not even rain can wash away the sheer amount of grime and mud and dirt and grit and gross there are on these fighters. I bet the rains rain grime too, now that I'm thinking about it. I gave these models, like the heart, 24 hours to let the streaking grime set. Now, normally, you would come in with some paint thinner and Q-tips and remove a lot of the streaking grime, but then my models wouldn't be as grimy, so I didn't do that. I just hit them off-camera with a matte varnish to keep that gross stuck in, and then took some AK's wet diorama paste and slapped it on the base, and voila! Done and good and grimed. Well, don't forget to wait another 24 hours for the wet mud to be not wet mud, but still look like wet mud. Or you'll risk, when you move it, having some of it come off in your fingers, and then it won't look as good as it does. That didn't happen with me, and you can't prove it. And there you have it. Eight chaff. Enough for two legal units. One box of gut rippers and some bits by the lovely Saint Decent and Max Fitzgerald, and boom! Now my army is nearly done, and if you made it this far, I just wanted to say thank you. And until next time, keep your brush wet and keep on painting those minis. Bye. Meh. What's up, Doc?